Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. What is up? We are in the Universal parking lot today. I'm with Catalina and Jed. It's Jed's birthday. Comment down below. Uh, happy birthday, Jed. His Instagram will be down below. It's pretty fire if you want to check it out. Uh, we're going to Universal today to check out some updates, and there's a really sad update today, so I'm excited slash sad to share it with you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. Let's go. Hi. We are coming into Universal around 1 o'clock on Tuesday, March 2nd. Doesn't seem that crowded at all right now, which is nice. Usually on the weekends, this place is pretty packed, but right now it's pretty chill. We're headed over to Islands of Adventures to get on some rides and check out the new Velocicoaster update. The rate of adventures operating hours are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. today. Uh, Storm Force Acceleration, which is basically mad teacups and dually do rides, which is my favorite, is closed today. Sad. Oh well, we're about to go in. You excited, buddy? Yeah, happy birthday to me. They are testing the Velocicoaster. Basically, it looks ready to go. We should just go on it right now. Universal, let me go on it. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. It looks fun, honestly. Oh, they have two coasters going at the same time, actually. There's one over to the left and the right. Look at that. Whoa. You scared? Yeah. Why? Look at that. That's so high. It's gonna be lit. It's time to go on Doctor Doom Spearfall. Catalina has never been on it before. Zed convinced her. You excited? I'm excited. You excited? She's been on Tower Terror. She'll be fine. We'll get you a review after the ride. for the first time today. Look at that. There's like a Venom like statue right there. It's pretty cool. Like it's just something that I've never seen before. I love it. Speaking of Dr. Doom, there he is in the flesh. Doom, we just went on your ride. Did you give me your fear? Yeah, we did. She was really scared. She went on it for the first time. She was super scared. Who had the most fear? Uh, she had the most fear right here. Can you take your picture with me? Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Nice. I like that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> All right, guys. And groveling? I don't. I can't do that. But well, one more time. How about that? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> yes, the fear. There is the Velocicoaster. Look at that thing go. An up close and personal view slash update of this ride coming summer 2021. It looks amazing, honestly. Look at it go. Oh my gosh, look at that corkscrew. Whoa. Oh my gosh. It's so cool to see the coaster actually going. Now, unfortunately, this is the closest we can get because they're actually barricading the dock. I guess they don't want people like me getting too close to the coaster right now. Look at that. Sick. Ripsaw Falls is under a seasonal maintenance right now. That's why it's actually closed. So sad. This is my favorite ride, honestly. You get really wet but it's still great. And here is some new signage, Jurassic World Velocicoaster coming 2021. You can actually see the coaster right here. All the walls are down, so this looks insane. The ride basically looks like you can go on it now. I'm excited. I'm definitely gonna go on this when it opens up. Here is a great look at the coaster. It seems to be like a little takeoff sensor right here, which is dope. I didn't even realize that. You see all of that track on the river, but there actually is a little bit back here as well. Very cool. Something that I think is crazy is that they have a bridge right under the actual ride. I'm pretty sure we will be able to walk on that once the ride opens, just to, you know, get rid of some foot traffic going from Hogwarts and going to Jurassic Park. It's gonna be kind of wild. You'll be walking and people will be screaming right on top of you. Is that really how it's gonna work? 
We are now in the Owl Post. I've actually never been in the store before. I haven't been in many gift stores here at Hogsmeade. Uh, this place is pretty cool. Obviously, the design and the theming is wonderful in here. Oh, they have that book that bites. What? I've never seen this before. Fun fact, I read all the books, so I know exactly what this is. Hi, little thing. Watch out, he bites. Judd, there's brooms flying behind you. Look. They're flying for your birthday, man. How's you in, Jojo? I don't know. You don't know. Mm, what house okay. are you in? So you're like, you're a smart guy, obviously. So yeah, yeah. I'm trying mm -hmm. to think. Yeah, that's kind of like a Ravenclaw vibe. But I feel like you're also very like, just with it. Yeah, I am. Like, for sure. Not mainstream, but you definitely have that just like, go get them vibe. So I can say more like Gryffindor for you, but I don't mm. really know. Mm, I gotta I'm take a look at you. I'm not an expert. Uh, I'm a Slytherin. Ah. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Today is definitely not that busy of a day because Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure is only in a 30 minute wait, which is not bad at all. It's really not that crowded in Universal today because Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure is only at a 30 minute wait. This is one of the most popular rides in the theme park, so needless to say, not bad at all. Ran into some pals right here. First of all, first, first of all. First. Subscribe to Ferris Here's Films. Ferris Films. There you go. It'll be down there. We got Chase Adventures, Shaboy Bowling. What are we doing now, boys? Making We're about some to go ride the best ride until Velasco opens. Oh, the yep, best nice ride smart, smart here, time. Haggard. Boom. Let's Excited. Get it. Let's do it. Right off you go. We'll be to the edge of the forbidden forest. We are now headed into Universal Studios. However, before we go in there, another little sad update. The Blue Man Group, the arena is right over there for that. Uh, they're not doing it anymore. They're actually removing signage of the whole Blue Man Group from the whole park. As you see, normally you would see the Blue Man Group right here, but it's gone. I think the show is permanently like gone, so who knows? Now, I already did a full coverage on the Mardi Gras International Flavors of Carnival event. However, we're going back in now. I'm actually going to try some food today, so I'm excited about that. I honestly love this event. There's a lot of entertainment in here. It's fun. Guys, it's Gru and his whole family. This is so cute. And then you got his arch enemy right over there as well. I have not seen him out here before. And then you got the big alligator parade float over there. That's cool. I have been saying this for a minute now, but... Universal is definitely doing a better job of character entertainment compared to Disney. Yeah, Jed, it's her birthday. Get some beads. Go get some beads. It's his birthday. Hello. Oh, nice one. I'm open. I'm open. Oh, I got him. Thank you. I know. You have a good day. Look at their costumes. I love your costume, by the way. Hey, yeah. The West Coast coming, the East Coast coming. Yes, she wanted us to sing to get beads. 
Oh, thank you. Are you having a good birthday, bud? Having a great birthday. Oh, hey. Hey, now you're. Hey, good catch, Jed. It is now time for Rip Ride Rocket Hollywood Roller Coaster. Only at a 10 minute wait. Okay, so we just went on that ride twice. Sorry, right. I, it was my fault. I love it. <laughs> um, and now we're probably gonna go on Mummy and get some food. I got you, buddy. My favorite part about Mardi Gras is these floats because they have characters throwing beads on you and they all have different like vibes and stuff. Pretty cool. Look at these. They're so pretty. I love it. I love the dresses. Hello. How are you doing? Happy Mardi Gras. Good. How Happy Mardi Gras. Good. Good. You got some moves for me? Yeah. I got, I got beads. I got beads. Yeah. Can I have another have one? Color, though. I don't. You got to show me your best dance move. I love best dance move. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, what is it? I, 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 I could do like I could do like a little like a little like a little. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, you asked the right person to dance. Thank you. That was great. Have a good day. You too. We are now going on the mummy. They did have refurbishment done in here. Basically, the biggest change is that there's this one part when you kind of flip around and it's like nothing can save you now, not even the magi. So this is a new scene. Okay, so we just went on the mummy, that was fun. So the biggest visual difference I noticed is right before you have the first launch, you know, nothing can save you now. It's kind of cool. Now we're heading over to the saddest update of Universal in 2021. I don't think you guys are ready. Make sure you have some uh, tissues nearby. I'm gonna grab something from the Bahamas right here. I'm gonna get the jerk chicken, jerked marinated chicken, rice and peas, scotch bonnet salsa. Sounds good. And here we go. This looks good. I like how they give you a little flag. This looks yummy. All right, so I'm getting a little bit of the rice and the chicken. I put some lime on it. Here we go. Mmm. That's actually really good. It has a lot of flavor in it. I really like it. You know, it definitely is spicy though, so I got some water. Mm. If you can get past the spice though, definitely recommend this. Um, it has a really good flavor. The salsa with it is really, really yummy. You got SpongeBob and Squidward over here. That's wonderful, good to see them. Okay, everyone, this is very sad for me to announce, but Barney is completely gone. Let me show you what I mean. This used to be a spot for the Barney show, which I never got to see actually. I thought I was gonna have more time. As you see, they're actually taking off all the signage, the fonts. The only thing left is like lingering colors of Barney. Even the big fountain statue that they had of Barney is gone. It's so sad. They literally kind of gutted this place. See, even up there, you can see that the theater sign is gone. All of this is getting rid of slowly but surely. And with the rain coming, this place kind of looks like a little graveyard almost. It's very sad. I'm personally sad just because I thought I was gonna have a little more time. My friend Austin said it was actually a really good show. Now I'll never get to see it. If we look inside real quick, you can actually still see the stage show and the little kids area where they can play in. So they didn't get rid of much inside yet. The props back here are still available. As you can see the house, however, Everything is getting removed. Barney is not coming back. So for any of my Universal fans out there, comment down below. Have you seen this show? Did you enjoy it? I really thought I was going to watch it at some point. I never thought that it would close down due to COVID. So it's unfortunate, but you know, sometimes you got to let go of the old to make room for new stuff. So I'm sure they're going to put something here at some point that's going to be amazing. And even though this was the saddest update of 2021 here at Universal Studios. There's so much more fun, uplifting, good stuff happening here at Universal, as you saw today with Mardi Gras, the new ride. So a lot is happening, which I'm really excited for. Stuff to look forward to in the future. And you know, with all that being said, I think we're gonna actually end the vlog there. It's about to rain. My friends ran back to the car. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And oh my gosh, it's getting windy. It's starting to rain leaves out here. Guys, thank you so much for your constant support. Thank you to my Patreons, my YouTube members. This video was sponsored by you guys. I'm only able to do this full time thanks to your viewership, your comments, your likes, you sharing this video. 
literally means the world to me. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. It's so sad. Bye.